Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the El Cheapo rig on Zcash. So, recently, Claymore released a version 6 of his Zcash miner, and that had um, pretty incredible performance. Um, so, I wanted to test that on the El Cheapo mining rig. So, this is the rig that has the four R7 370s, and they are the four gigabyte versions, uh, just for your reference there. So let's take a look at it. So I'm using TeamViewer. Um, originally I wanted to do this video yesterday, but unfortunately TeamViewer is playing up. So I had to do like a hard reset of this um, mining rig. So that's why we're kind of um, doing it in this video here today. So at the moment you can see we're currently mining Ethereum. Um, I've just got it on standard clock speeds. Uh, each one of the GPUs is just running standard clocks. And we're getting um, about 46 and a half uh, mega hashes. When I use the overclock settings, we get about uh, 51, 52 mega hashes per second mining Ethereum. So what I'm going to do now is um, just try it with Zcash and see what performance we get um, on a on for the actual rig basis and also on a card by card basis. So I've already copied over the Zcash uh, miner. Like I say, it's Claymore's version six Zcash miner. So I'm just going to edit the actual um, startup batch file. Just to configure my details, just so we can keep track of the performance. So I've just got the minor program. The pool that I'm using is Supernova, username, and we've got the worker name here as well, and the password is X. And we don't really need any other configuration. We can just go with this standard configuration. So let's just save that, and then we'll be ready to start the minor. So let's fire that up and see how we get on. Sorry about the actual screen resolution, it is a bit of a funny format in here. Um, let's also open up the MSI Afterburner, just so you can see the clock speeds and everything that I'm using here. So the core clock is 1030 and the memory clock is 1400. Um, previously when mining Ethereum, I normally run it in a overclocked mode, uh, which that brings the core speed and the memory speed up um, considerably. But I'll test that in just a moment. We'll see if the overclocking increases the performance dramatically or not. Okay, so we've had our first summary of performance there and it's uh, looking very good. We're getting about 70 hashes uh, for each GPU. Although the second one is running at 60 for some reason. So I'll let it go through a few more times and then we'll just get a better understanding of the actual performance overall. Um, for anyone that's interested, this El Cheapo rig is the one that's actually kind of um, outside in my garden shed. Um, the ambient temperature is about 15 degrees. Um, so you can see the CPU temperatures are running nice and cool, uh, about 65 degrees. And the actual fan speeds are uh, pretty low. You can see there, like, you know, less than 20%, uh, 20%. So yeah, we're running nice and calm and cool, which is what we want to be looking for. So I'll let it run through a few more times and we'll just get a better understanding uh, of the actual average hash rate. Okay, so we've just had our second update and across the rig, the entire performance, we're getting 200 and let's call it 265 hashes per second. So all of the GPUs are looking pretty good, except the second one is running a little bit slower. Now, um, originally some people was reporting that this miner is a little bit more CPU intensive than the other miners. So I don't know whether that's affecting this um, secondary um, CPU. So what I'm gonna do is um, just open up the uh, task manager and I just wanna see uh, what the load is on the CPU. Okay, so it doesn't look like we've got um, particularly higher um, CPU usage. Um, some other people reported that, so I don't know whether it's the previous versions were slowing it down. So I'm not too sure why that second um, GPU is running a little bit slower. That's something that maybe we'll have to look in and do a little bit more investigation. Um, also, the memory uh, usage is also um, quite low and stable. So I'm not too sure why that second one is running um, quite a bit slower. That's something that we'll have to look into. Um, but I won't do that during the course of this video because it will just probably take quite a long time to 
to find out those uh, what's causing it exactly. And what I will do though is I'll just run it with the overclocked um, core and memory speeds and we'll see how that affects things. So this is how I normally run it when I'm running Ethereum. So I've increased the power limit plus 10, the core clock goes up to 11.50 and the memory clock goes up to 1500. Um, on my previous tests, I've noticed that um, the Zcash miners, they tend to be more, um, the performance is more based around the core speed rather than the memory speed. Um, but I'll just apply these settings and we'll see um, what kind of uh, improvement we get in terms of uh, performance. Okay, so I'll just leave that running for one or two minutes. Uh, in the meantime, what I'll do is I will just actually check on my watt meter and I'll just see what the actual a rig is pulling at the actual wall and um, I'll just report that. Okay, so I've just taken a look at the actual watt meter and we are pulling 475 watts at the actual wall. Um, so that's actually down a little bit in comparison to Ethereum, even with the overclock settings. So when I'm mining Ethereum, I normally on this particular rig, it normally uses about 530 watts. Um, so we are down a little bit on um, in comparison to mining Ethereum. So less power usage is always good. And you can see the actual um, the hash performance has increased slightly. Um, we're up to 274 hashes per second. Um, with a couple more cycles, that'll probably go up to maybe um, maybe we might even hit 280 on this sort of rig. Um, so the yeah, three of the rigs, uh, sorry, three of the actual GPUs are looking um, pretty good and stable, but this second one is still not running quite at full speed. Um, so I will look into that. So overall, we should be able to get a little bit more uh, performance um, above the sort of um, 280 hashes per second mark with this rig. And like I say, that's pulling um, about 475 watts at the wall um, for the whole system combined. Okay guys, I'll leave it here for this video. As always, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, sharing and subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next video.